Well, there's clearly been a battle of wits off the field as far as tactics are concerned and there's Jim McLean playing up to cope with the league champions. Gary McGuinness plays from the start and Dave Bowman is the unlucky man out. He's been left on the bench. And the key man in the United midfield will be Jim McAnally who's passed a fitness test to play today and he's likely to be directly opposed to Paul McStay. Celtic leave Joe Miller and Tommy Barnes on the bench with Mark McGee lending his support to the front two, Frank McAvenny and Andy Walker. And the first appearance for the Celtic captain Roy Aiken after suspension. He's back in the side, but Mick McCarthy and Derek White retain their positions. A capacity crowd inside Tannadice and absolutely perfect conditions as the match starts with Dundee United giving Billy Thompson an early touch of the ball. And these opening stages will be very interesting indeed as these sides feel each other out tactically. There's Ian Redford wearing number 11, being brought down heavily right at the start by Peter Grant. The referee Bill Crombie taking a firm line immediately and he's going to have a word with the young Celtic midfield player. And that really was a very hefty tackle by Grant. You see Redford here moving on to the ball, appeared to be going clear and Grant came clattering in with that tackle. Celtic wall being lined up for a United free kick. Now this is a possibility for the shooting prowess of John Clark. Certainly well respected by the Celtic players, lining up a four-man wall with McAvenny on the end. So the referee appears not to be satisfied that the 10-yard rule has been applied. He's waving back the Celtic wall. Here goes Clark. Well, he got past the wall all right, and Ian Andrews made rather a meal of it. But under no pressure with any United player coming in. On the way by McCarthy. There's Kevin Gallagher. Closely marked by Aiken. There's Patalainen. Very close indeed from Big Sue Patalainen. The big fellow was very quick in the turn here after that joust to the edge of the box involving Jim McInnelly. The break of the ball falling to Patalainen. The shot on the turn and Andrews was at full stretch. A very congested area in midfield with each side on having three men at the back. Packing men into midfield. There's Kevin Gallagher's cross. And he has the corner kick off the body of Roy Aiken. So Ian Redford will use his left foot for the inswinger. They get the arriving late. Well, this is clearance. There's McKinley. That was a superb effort from Billy McKinley. Well, this would have been a goal in a thousand, this one. The firm-headed clearance by Chris Wallace. There was McKinley taking it first time in the drop, and that was only inches too high. Well, a tough challenge, which McCarthy wins with Patalainen. There's Redford. Weaker side, the right, and getting no power into the shot. Good touch on from McGee, nearly at full stretch. Aiken to Morris. McAvenny is on side, played on by John Clark. And Frank McAvenny and Tubigari, Andy Walker was screaming for the ball around the penalty spot area. And McAvenny felt he had to take that first time to beat Thompson with the lob, but as the ball was released, United trying to play the offside, but John Clark played McAvenny on, leaving the Celtic striker in the clear on the right, and missing out Walker in the middle, sending the shot over the ball. Good leap by Aiken. The flag is up against Redford on the near side. Uh, United move to a halt.
Kayla Slicer on McCarthy and Gallagher cashes in Dundee United take the lead and it was a gift from Mick McCarthy well McCarthy will certainly dread watching this again came from Ian Andrews McCarthy trying the casual ball back miscued completely Kevin Gallagher wasted no time drilling the ball beyond Andrews and United are in front for 18 minutes into the first half a shot for Celtic with that disaster there's Frank McAvenny and Neri doing well with the clearance Celtic trying to strike back immediately a long deep cross for McAvenny to go up nod the ball back inside and Neri did well with the clearance Stay with the in-swinger. Well, well taken under pressure by Billy Thompson. And after the indicating that the big keeper was fouled in the process, that makes the save even better. Here's McCarthy in space to come forward in possession that's towards McGee Rogan coming in on the blind side that was a great run by Anton Rogan his control let him down he had no time to see that and control in his chest very difficult indeed there's McGuinness and Gallagher's clear again his pace taking him away and a fine effort again from Kevin Gallagher well he appears to be lifted by that opening goal there's the menace of Kevin Gallagher, the long ball from inside the United half. Gallagher sprinting free of the Celtic defence, taking the shot first time and not far away again. Celtic now enjoying the bulk of the pressure, keeping play inside the United half with the half hour mark coming and going. Here's Patalainen, tackled by Aiken. Patalainen is onside, the big fella moving pretty really swiftly. The early ball for Rogan and there's Gallagher. Great goalkeeping by Andrews. Well, after all that pressure, Celtic suddenly exposed at the back. Patalainen showing a lot of pace there, breaking in the left. The first time, cross with the left foot. There was Gallagher challenging. The first shot blocked and going in for the rebound. Andrews was the brave keeper. Turned back by Patalainen to Malpass. A neat sidestep away from McAvenny. That's beyond McCarthy. There goes Gallagher again. Well, Kevin Gallagher really is having a splendid afternoon. Full of pace, full of inventive play and attack. And he's proving to be a very hot handful for this Celtic defence. Combining with McCarthy to get it back to Andrews. So more than three minutes of stoppage time played in the first half and it's United who go in at half time with a one goal lead provided by Kevin Gallagher, the star player of a very entertaining first half. United creating opportunities in front of Ian Andrews and cashing in on that error from Mick McCarthy in the 18th minute which gave Gallagher the chance to make the half time score. Dundee United 1, Celtic 0. Celtic start the second half after some very hard talking I'm sure at the interval with Billy McNeil and Tommy Craig and the Celtic management because they really have some points to ponder now because United really appear to have the first half initiative tactically and Celtic have no doubt will have some plans afoot to alter all that. Bowman. Tough tangle there with Rogan and Grant. The referee waves play on with Walker in possession. Good play from Andy Walker. And John Clark got back well. Turn that away for the corner. Danny McGuinness has taken a knock. He's taking some time to recover. But some very tough play initially and then an incisive flank attacking from Andy Walker. There's Paul McStay. And that's gone over the top, it came up Patalainen. 
Well, the big striker did well in defence, nodding that over. Vicious swinging ball that from Paul next day, causing a lot of trouble. All the Celtic fans congregated behind Billy Thompson. Up goes Rogan. And now pass with the clearance. Grant down to Morris. Queuing up at the far post, it was Mark McGee who got a glancing head of the ball. Frustration for Mick McCarthy, who appeared to have a golden opportunity had McGee let that ball come across. You could see as the ball came in, and McCarthy was making the run, and it was McGee at full stretch who only just managed to get a touch and played the ball away from his centre half. Thompson will collect that and the singing you hear now is coming from the Celtic fans who certainly appreciate this burst of activity from the Parkhead men at the start of the second half Stop by McAnally, McStay wins it back No room at all in midfield, Bowman now playing it wide for Redford McCarthy back peddling furiously. This Patalainen using his physique on Chris Morris. Now Gallagher. So the defenders have to be careful. They could easily concede a penalty kick in there. There's Malpass to McAnally. A great chance for United. Too far ahead of Bowman. And it was blocked by Rogan. And the United players looking for a penalty kick. But Jim McAnally linking brilliantly inside the box to play that right across the face of Ian Andrews. And just too far ahead of Dave Bowman. Linen looking for the chance to cross. A deep ball to the far side. There's Redford. And Ian Andrews appeared to be at sea as White turned it over for the corner kick. Well, make sure put the line in a send over some tantalizing crosses this afternoon. That was one of his best. Andrews didn't reach it. And Redford playing that in, looking for a colleague inside and finding only Derek White. There's Redford on the break once again for Dundee United. Morgan gets back, but there's Bowman for United. Gallagher and Patalainen waiting in the box. It's Patalainen who goes up! And there's a bit of pushing by Patalainen. It wouldn't have counted. But a moment of high drama here at Tanadai says Bowman picked up the loose ball after that challenge from Rogan. Made his way to the flank. Sent over the curling cross. Patalainen with a little bit of a push in his marker. Nodding it against the underside of the bar. to McGuinness Redford and White going up together Celtic man wins it and his mixed day look how crowded the area is whenever he takes possession this is Anton Rogan Alpaz kept his eye on the ball and once again no one hanging back there as Malpass and Grant collide good play from mixed day he was fouled all right by McKinley no question about that the young midfield player will be booked for his trouble. Delightful play that from Paul McStay. Just the neatest of little sidestep to go away from his man. And Billy McKinley tempted into that pool with his right arm. There's a booking for Billy McKinley, who certainly looks to be a very promising young player indeed. So it's Chris Morris who'll take the free kick for Celtic. Up goes McCarthy! And a save from Billy Thompson of the superlative kind. Well, Mick McCarthy can't believe it, I'm sure. So anxious to make amends for his error in the first half. The slanted free kick from Chris Morris. The powered header from Mick McCarthy. And that must be a candidate already for the save of the season. McCarthy Clark finds Bowman Kevin Gallagher sent spinning by McCarthy An apology from the centre half but he's clearly a little bit unhappy that he thinks Gallagher's making rather a meal of that face set in concentration 
but he's going to be booked by the referee and we'll see why once again as the ball was played and now it's the electric turn here from Kevin Gallagher making that challenge for McCarthy look particularly clumsy good control from Walker this is Miller easy one for Clark but the header goes straight to Grant now Paul McStay this is Morris Going too much of the ball to McKinley. Very quite. Thinking about finding space for a shot. I think that it's wide to Barnes. Followed all the way by Bowman, but Barnes still in possession. A good cross eventually, but Mal passes there for United. And there's Grant. That came off McStay. And down goes Joe Miller in the clash with Patalina and the Celtic players appealing for a penalty kick. Billy McNeil and Tommy Craig off there, seen on the bench, protesting. Well, that was certainly an anxious moment for Dundee United. The ball came by Kane Miller trying to break, and a clash with Patalainen. The referee giving the benefit of the doubt to Dundee United. Shrugged aside there by Roy Aiken, who was fouled by McKinley. Oh, McKinley willing to debate matters with Roy Aiken, so no respecter of senior professionals is Billy McKinley certainly one on the opposing side so McLeod couldn't reach it Grant did, he gave McLeod a sore one on the shin as Redford releases Kevin Gallagher on the right Gallagher will want to take this for a run I'm sure and shown inside now by White Gallagher determined to go outside still heading towards the corner flag and he's won a corner kick for Dundee United Splendid match up front, Kevin Gallagher. Made his international debut at the end of last season. Ian Redford being invited to get a move on by referee Crombie. McAnally trying to get a glancing header on, but Andrews did well for Celtic. The big keeper ill for much of the week with the virus. Now recovered to take his place in goal and there's John Clark's head White to Barnes string of players across that United midfield whenever Celtic get possession quite willing to leave only Gallagher up front here's Ed Walker and very closely marked throughout the match that's good play there's Aiken and he was charged down by Malpass there's Paul McStay and good goal to me again by Billy Thompson it was Aiken into the box trying the first time shot which Malpass blocked and then Paul McStay trying a deliberate ball towards the top corner which was well taken by Thompson McStay to Miller the tackle by McKinley here's Peter Grant now Chris Morris up goes Joe Miller he did well Hoping for a corner kick, thought there might have been a deflection off Gary McGuinness, but the referee says no. Bowman remaining calm, trying to find an accurate goal for Joe McLeod, and Joe McLeod is through. It's McLeod through on Ian Andrews, the chance to tie it up. Well, confusion there between Chris Morris and Derek White, they were so anxious to get the ball forward. Get into a mix-up there with Joe McLeod cashed in on. Racing forward, seeing Andrews advancing, realising the defenders are closing in and tried the long range shot, which Andrews turned behind for the corner. McKinley's corner kick. Oh, yeah, can nods it on. It's Dave Bowman who collects at the far side. Away by White to Barnes. It's Paul McStay, but McGuinness is there first. And now it's Bowman for Dundee United. Long cross towards Gallagher for the header. There's Derek White. The United now finishing the match inside the Celtic half. They really have played well this afternoon. Had the edge in the first half, particularly in that vital midfield area with the effervescent form of Kevin Gallagher in attack, adding the extra little bite. 
in the second half they've defended superbly Celtic being restricted to precious few half chances league champions now facing defeat unless they can conjure up something in the dying second of the match here's Ian Redford and McLeod firmly tackled by Aiken it's Morris no well pass Aiken again the referee checking his watch here's Frank McAvenny with a left foot shot and that is the last chance in the match for Celtic to get back in turn the final whistle goes Dundee United are winners by one goal to nil Billy, what? Uh, all I can remember is it, uh, the ball coming over and the next thing I, I just seen the ball somewhere up here and it was just an instinctive save, just went for it and I managed to get a fingertip to it. How would you rate it among saves you've had? Because it seemed from our angle to be one of the best saves of any season. Well, obviously I'm very, very pleased with it when you're one nothing up and you have a save like that and at the end of the game you, went, you come out winners 1-0 then it's got to be a very, very important save. Uh, I got a lot of joy out of it. Now, you've got a general point to prove, of course, for the rest of the season. You're top of the league now. You've got seven international caps. Have you got thoughts at all of getting back in the Scotland scene? Uh, I mean, I would love to, uh, but it's entirely in the hands of Mr Roxburgh and Mr Brown. If they want to pick me, then, then fair enough. But first and foremost, uh, I'm dedicating everything to Dundee United for this season just now. Uh, if I get picked for Scotland, then it's going to be an added bonus. Now, you've been playing behind Paul Higarty and David Neary for some time, and John Clark has filled in that role now when Paul's been out. Has that made a difference to your form and your development? Well, I think when you're playing behind people uh, of that stature, uh, it really does give you a lot of confidence. And I mean, Paul Hegarty and Dave Neri are one of the best central defenders in the game, you know, for years and years. And of course, you've got Morris Malpass as well, who's a first-class player, and Big Clark as well. So when you're playing behind those back, back four, then, you know, you get real confidence from it. And do you think United can stay top of the league? I think so, I hope so. Uh, we've got good enough players. Uh, but ask me that sometime in May or whenever. We will do, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. The man has scored a winning goal, Kevin. How do you remember the goal coming about? Oh, I can just remember uh, chasing Big Mick McCarthy across the park and uh, I was actually going to give up and uh, just a uh, slight pass back, just intercepted it and I seen the keeper coming out and I just placed it, hit the postman in. Now that certainly seems to have given Dundee United a big boost but it seemed to do a great deal for the Kevin Gallagher form. Do you feel as though things are going well for you now? Well, I haven't been playing well the last few games uh, at the start of the season but uh, I think I came back to what seems to be a bit of my form today and I think we're getting a goal, I think that could boost me back up again. Well, you finished last season of course in the international squad, is that in your mind at all? No, not really. I think I've just got to go out every, every week and uh, every game and play my heart out and score goals and hopefully I can think about that after. See, your role uh, this afternoon seemed to be through the middle striking, whereas you have played frequently in the past in the flank. How do you prefer to operate? Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I like playing through the middle uh, because I like to get in behind defences and that and uh, I like to hold up and turn defences. Uh, I also like playing in the wing, the wider areas and that and taking full con, but uh, 